Yo, what's going on guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at this extremely fast hog mini P.E.K.K.A cycle trifecta deck right over here. This deck is, is by far my most, my most favorite deck of all time. I've been using this or some variation of this deck uh, for the past 8 or 9 months. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, it could, could even be 10, I'm not you know, 100% sure. Anyways, a few changes, you can do, you can do this deck for the Ice Spirit and the Bats. You can, either, you can either go for the Spirit Goblins, the Goblin Gang, the Archers. The minions, the uh, the goblins, and even the rascals. If you want to go for the, if you want to go for them, however, you know the the most uh, the, you know the the uh, the most suitable sub you know that, that I would do is either mega min is mega minion for the bats and goblin gang for the ice spread. That will turn that will turn the deck into a three point three average. It's gonna cost a bit more expensive, but you know it will also be, it, will, it will also be a, it will also be a, how do you call it, a bit more solid. You know for the ones you know who are, who are just starting to use this deck. So if you if this is if this is gonna be your first time using this deck, I would highly recommend you to go for the Mega Minion Piss of the Bats and the Goblin Gang for the Ice Spirit. That will that that will make the deck you know a bit easier to play and also it will make it more solid. I prefer my decks you know, to be really fast cycle. So that's is that's just my personal preference. For the Ice Goblin Mini Pack, you can, you can go for the Lumberjack, the Tesla, the Cannon, the Valkyrie, the Knight, and even the Royal Ghost. For the fireball and the log, you can, you can go for any small spell. You know, I, I would I would highly recommend you to go for the uh, for the for the uh, the earthquake and place of the fireball and the snowball and place of the log. But you, you also you can also go for the uh, for the zap, the uh, the 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 barbell and what was that? What was the uh, what's the other spell? I was gonna say yes, freeze, freeze in place in place of the fireball would definitely be really interesting. I'm currently on a th I think a five win streak. How about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, six win streak. Not bad. Anyways. If I win every single battle over here, I actually might get into uh, 6,000 6, trophies. If I win every single battle. Good luck and thumbs up. I swear at the bridge. That's gonna get on the. Okay. Musketeer. Cut this up the lane. Perfect. That will completely take care of everything. Not having to worry about anything. And, and, and without taking damage. On any of my troops, hog right now. Thought of all this as well. Just hey, why not? Okay, that's that's a problem. I don't have to go for the uh, ice golem, for the ice spread in the bat. My kite is opposite lane as well. Perfect. Not a big, not a problem. Not a problem. Perfectly taken care of. Absolutely magnificent defense. Except you know, that I will that, that I will take that I will take a. Uh, now I'll take a dash from that, uh, how do you call it, from that, that Bennett, but I'm totally fine with that. Alright, Musketeer. I'm gonna go for the Ice Spirit. Alright, not bad, not bad. Still took, still took some damage, but definitely the best I could do in that situation. Most likely E with yes, there you go. Definitely did not see did not see a need did not see a need for that. But he still went for him. I'll go for the uh Okay. I might have to go for the bounce because otherwise you know that that uh, will deal you know quite a bit of damage in my tower. I could go for the hog because you know he doesn't have enough elixir for the Pekka. But uh, but I will also you know be you know at a severe elixir disadvantage on defense. Because you know, once he once he once he you know counter attacks with the uh, with the Pekka, so I just definitely don't want to do that. Expert over here, log as well. Go for the ice golem, then hog right behind it. Just to make sure if he goes for the Pekka, you know that the uh, ice golem will tank for no shots. Beautiful. And this is what I call, you know, world-class defense. Let's go over here. Okay, that was not exactly what I, what I wanted to happen, but still fine, still fine by me. I'm gonna go for the hog and fireball this. All right, I'm a log. Go for the ice spirit. I'm actually, I'm actually definitely playing, playing this battle you know, really, really well. I'm gonna go for the hog, then the uh, I'm gonna go ice spirit, ice stone, then hog. All right, I'm gonna log this just to make sure that the uh, the how do you call it, the dark pest doesn't doesn't you know uh, 
charge too quickly. Expert over here. Ice Golem. That's then. Ice Golem. Uh, uh, okay. Musketeer. Log. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just fireball this right now. Ice Golem. It's a hog. The log. One shot. There you go, Blue. That's a good game. All what I need right now is just a. Uh, just a lock and a fireball, and I will win this. And just, you know, keeping all this dropping cards, just making sh making sure that, you know, that he doesn't, you know, have a single chance to get anything in. Fireball, lock, and that's a good game. Well, that was actually, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was a uh, pretty, you know, straightforward battle, you know, just, you know, defensive. You know, from, from, a defend from a defensive standpoint, that was, you know, pretty straightforward. I, I actually played this battle, you know, really, really well. I'm really happy, you know, how I played this. I mean, get the legendary chest, which I will pop open right now. Hopefully I'll, I'll get a log, I want to log our princess, princess, there you go, perfect, only one away from level 12, I will I'll, I will, be, I'll, I will be making a log bait deck, you know, I don't know, maybe in a week and a half, two weeks, so I want to get my princess to level 12 before I do that, alright, I'm going to go for the hog first play, wow, okay, well this will be a pretty tough battle, I can already tell it's, it's a lava loon, I, I don't see that in a long time, in a long time, I haven't seen that. Now, if he has Fireball, Lightning, and then Zap or Snowball, I am screwed. But if he, please don't tell me, I'm, please don't tell me I'm lagging right now. All right, thank you. Let's Fireball this right now. Let's make sure I don't take it out. Ooh, that wasn't how I, how I wanted it to play out, but still fine. But still fine by me. In this battle, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna be relying a lot on my uh, first how to see if he has guards or goblin gang. If he has goblin gang, it'll be a way easier game. Beautifully timed, scar me even better. Beautiful, beautiful, beautifully timed log. That ice one will take care of everything over there. There you go. Now it's just time to go all in. He's gonna hug his minions, but it won't do jack shit because there you go, that's, that's tower number one down. You know, if I was him, I actually wouldn't ha wouldn't have one for the uh, for the minions. I would have just ignored that. Too, like, it's like, it's, it's let my tower, you know, be taken down, and then I would go for the uh, then I would go how do you call it for the for the uh, for the balloon. Let's go, um. Alright, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, it, when you're versing Lava Loon, you really, really want to take his at least one of his towers down before Double Elixir. Because if you don't, you are screwed. Log over here. I don't think I don't think that will hit in time. Yeah, it's still I still missed a, I missed a couple skeletons. That's fine, Musketeer over here. There you go. There's his balloon. The fireball. Alright, nicely done. We'll go for another, for another musketeer just to make sure I don't take in any extra damage. I'm gonna go for the hog left lane because I need I need to take in on his tower damage. I don't have it definitely I don't have it you know like 100 percent taken down yet. I just, I just have to you know, make it I just have to be sure. My spirit, there you got any any uh, any small spell. Okay, no. Any small spell will be good enough. I'm gonna log this. All right, and that should be a good game. Fireball this as well. I just want to make sure I can... Ah, it's so close. Well, anyways, that was good enough for me. We got... Nobody? Okay, perfect. Let me just claim this... This, this, this uh, crown chest. Let's pop it open quickly. And into the third ball of the video. Hopefully, you know, we can just keep the win streak going. And I need, I need to win both. I'm not sure if I'm. I think I'm at 34, th th 59, 34. 
He's down at 34. The only way I can I can ever get to uh, to 6,000 in this video if I want to play only four battles is I is if I win both battles with plus 33 trophies, which is not gonna happen because you know he has 39. I'm only gonna get 31 if I win this. Okay, so if he has Inferno Tower, it will be an easier matchup to be honest. It'll be an easier, easier matchup. I'm not gonna log. I'm not a dumbass. I'll just take. I'll just take that damage like a man. So now I think he is. He has the 3.1 version. If if he does, this battle will be way way easier. Then I can just use my uh, incredibly fast cycle to get something going. Then hog right now. I don't think he'll rock at that. Oh, he does. He did. No problem at all. Musketeer over here. Log. Easy, easy. Let's go on down below. I just, I, just, I just want to make sure I don't take, you know, damage from the spirit guns because bait is all about chip. Bait is all about chip. But if you don't want to lose versus bait, you just got to keep, keep making sure that you don't take any chip damage. Defend with everything you got. Literally, that's all you got to do. Defend with everything you got. Ooh. Log over here. Musher, please. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. One shot. One mini pepper shot. Let's go over here. A right, spirit. Then hog. Two rockets. Totally fine with that. I'm gonna go for the musketeer over here just to make sure I take care of that uh, of that, of that uh, princess as soon as I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block out of the bridge. That's a really deep barrel. I'm gonna go for the bats first, then the hog. Just to make sure I'll be getting in front of the hog. Fireball now. Oh, I missed in front of the tower. If I did, then I would have. Uh, if I got in it, I would have been pretty decent. He's, if he rockets that, then he is just, just dumbass if he rockets that. Okay, that. Log this. I'll take care of everything that comes through. Musketeer up top. I'm gonna fireball over here. Because I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just relying on that chip damage. I just, I just want to keep chipping in. Chipping down his towers. I mean, that's literally, that's literally all I gotta do. Let's again another deep barrel. I don't think he has he has, any, he has his, his inferno tower in time. Yes, he will. The fireball as well. Okay, got nothing in. That's fine. I'm gonna go for Ascom over here. Musketeer. Ooh, that that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Still, totally fine with that. Let me go for the bats. I just gotta hold on for the next minute or so and I'll be fine. You know, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna log, which then he will uh, he will try to he will try to you know just to beat me out. I'm just gonna fireball that that like the goblin gang. Because that was that was just you know a bit too much how to call it stuff for me to handle. Just you know with despite okay that I, I'm just thinking of that, that that you know that was a misplay. One musketeer over here. Fireball that, just want to make sure that he, that he doesn't die now. That's, that's, that's a really deep barrel. That's okay. Well, that was a, that was, this was actually a really hard battle, to be honest. This was a really hard battle. Not, not really hard, you know, in the sense, you know, that it was, uh, it needed, it just needed, it just needed, you know, like, really good concentration. And I, I just had to stay, I just had to stay, uh, just had to stay focused. Like, really hard. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, that I'm gonna win this and I'm just gonna end up, you know, at, at, you know, like, 59, 97. I spirit. Okay, bats. I'm gonna hog right now. 
NATO, yep, definitely. Oh, Holy Exe NATO. This is literally the hardest matchup you can get. Hog Exe NATO. Especially if they are a good player as well. It's really, really, really hard. But you know, if you got, you know, the cycle, you got the cycle on your side, you got, you know, the, uh, the fast cycle on your side, you just, you just gotta play it smart. And you should be fine. He's gonna try to go for the hog right now, which I'm totally fine with. I'm gonna go for the hog. I'm gonna fireball this. All right, got, got, we got that one. We got that one hog shot. Literally, this this matchup is just all chip based. It's all you just gotta make sure that you get that that you get Harry Cotton you know, as much chip as you can. See, like that, that could have that 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 ice break could have could have just won me the battle. Oh my god, I made a mistake. That just made a display. Musketeer into the into the right. He went to the left. Totally fine with that though. Who? Okay. He's got the goblins coming in. Nato actually. Huh. One. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. See that could have that could have just cost him the battle. Now I'm gonna just go for because he because he just uses Nato. I'm gonna go for the hog then the fireball in a quick second. Because the double elixir will have enough. Did he just rage quit? Because you just you just you just ruined my yes ruined a perfectly good video. I wanted to beat you fair and square. Now now you just make me get a three card for no reason. That's fine. No problem. We're gonna go undefeated once again. Once again undefeated. Whew, this actually feels really good, you know, beating uh beating you know some pretty hard matchups. And getting just getting an easy three gun at the end. Definitely feels really good. And my wife I was about to let me down either way, so I was uh I'm really happy to know that I was able to get that. Plus twenty-nine, that puts us at 90, 59, 95. You know, I'm actually completely fine with that, and I'm really happy that I was able actually able to push. I pushed today, I pushed uh, 300 trophies. Earlier I started out at, let me see, like a, around two hours ago. I started at 56.72, so that's around, you know, 300, 320-something, 300, 300 23 trophies. That was, uh, that was this, this, this was actually a pretty good video, I'm, you know, I am, you know, uh, not gonna lie. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!